For those of you that love a good chicken breast, this recipe is for you. Personally, I'm a dark meat guy because dark meat is almost impossible to overcook and two, it seems to have a lot more flavor, at least to me. But chicken breast, I get it, it's easy, it takes flavors well, but at the end of the day, sometimes you get a little dried out chicken jerky. So how do you bridge those two things, flavor and integrity and juiciness? I'm gonna show you exactly how it's done. And we're gonna start with a little tough love. The chicken breast, it's not shaped or designed well. You have this thicker part, which has a tendency to take longer to cook, right? And you have the thinner portion or this tail that cooks too quickly. If you've ever grilled chicken breast, boneless, skinless chicken breast, the tail portion always overcooks. So what do you do? Well, we're gonna make it so that all of it cooks evenly by pounding it to about a third of an inch in thickness. And that's it. Lickety split, it takes no time at all. Cleanup is really simple because you have this plastic film to keep things nice and clean. Unwrap it, it's about a third of an inch thick throughout the whole thing. Now you may have a chicken breast that doesn't have this little tenderloin. This is what's used for uh, chicken fingers. But I don't have to worry about that overcooking because it's all the same thickness, okay? But let's bump up the flavor. Bump up the flavor, bump up the flavor. How do we do that? How about some lemon zest, herbs, and garlic? All those go beautifully with chicken. I don't wanna dirty the whole thing up, so I just slide this on off. First thing I'm gonna do is zest a lemon. I also want the juice of the lemon, but if you cut it in half and juice it, zesting it is exceedingly difficult. So, if you wanna invest in one of these bad boys, a microplane, I highly recommend it. And we'll just get the zest off of this lemon. Now what we're doing by taking the zest off is we're actually removing the part that has all the oil in it, just the outer skin portion. So we have the oil of the lemon. We also have the oil, essential oil of garlic, which is throughout the entire garlic clove itself. And we're also gonna use herbs that have high oil contents. So you would never crust, I don't know, a chicken or a fish with cilantro or parsley. It's always things like uh, rosemary or thyme, uh, oregano, things that are really high in oil and uh, don't burn. We have thyme, we have thyme, we also have rosemary and oregano. And the reason I wanna show these to you is because a lot of people ask, well, how do you, how do you pick leaves? How do you pick um, herbs? What you wanna do is you wanna start by holding the thyme or the garlic or the oregano by the top. And you wanna just grab your fingers and then pull it like that, okay? It makes it so much easier. And because I'm not chopping all together, I just pull it right on top, okay? Same with this oregano. Grab it by the top of the stem and just pull it right off like that. It's a lot easier than doing this, right? Just like. Ooh, ooh. I can see how cooking can sometimes be a chore if you're just doing this all day. But now you know to hold it by the top and then pull all the leaves off like that. Okay, just like a sock. Good to go. Same with rosemary. Hold it by the top, just give it a squeeze, and all the leaves come right off. Right? There was a lot, a lot, a lot of flavor right in here, but we need a little bit more flavor, and that's going to be with garlic. Let's go with three garlic cloves. Just take a couple cloves off of this head. Now, I can peel it with my fingertips. Don't need to, I'm gonna crush it pretty hard to make sure the skin splits off the clove. But also, I don't need to keep that shape because even this shape is hard to cut. But a flat <laughs> garlic clove is really easy to cut. Okay, so I'm just gonna flatten all three and then it makes it really easy to peel the skin off. Do the same with the other two.
<laughs> this is really a tough love recipe. So we have a lot of flavor in here. I'm gonna coat the chicken breast with olive oil and then all these oil-based herbs make sense and then infuse inside there, okay? So we'll give this a quick chop so we can make it to like a spread. Now let's chop down pretty fine. Now if you want it to be a paste, here's something you can do. Take a little bit of kosher salt, chop that through, and then use the side of your knife to sort of squish it all together. That's gonna to make more of a paste, something that's a little bit more spreadable. It doesn't take many times, about two. And then you've encrusted that chicken breast with so much flavor. Now that looks pretty good. Okay, put that off to the side. I'll bring the chicken breast back, which is still inside the plastic film. Now I want to coat this with a little bit of olive oil, but why? Well, if you don't coat vegetables or chicken, fish, whatever, with a little bit of oil, what happens is it starts to steam. And as we know, as we sweat, it cools us down. So steam is essentially the vegetables or chicken, what have you, cooling itself down. But olive oil, any sort of oil, will stop that evaporation from happening and the temperature goes up really fast, which means caramelization. That is a good thing. So this hand stays with the chicken, okay? All right. A little bit of salt from way up above, for evenly distributed salt. I'll just give one of these. There we are other side as well. And a touch of pepper. There we are. Now is the time we get to add all of this flavor right on top. I have the oven set to broil, all right? It's a lot of heat, but that's what I want. I want this to cook fast and furious. And I have Sheet pan lined with foil, easy cleanup. Again, it's all about easy cleanup. Put the chicken breast right on top with this beautiful little tenderloin. Now this goes under the broiler for about eight minutes, total cooking time. Flip it halfway through, it's nicely caramelized, delicious. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna make a delicious quinoa salad to pair with this beef. Now I think the perfect pairing for a fast, delicious chicken breast is a fast, delicious salad. What I have in this bowl already is uh, quinoa, it takes like 15 minutes to cook, canned garbanzo beans, drained parsley, and uh, green olives, pretty simple. Toasted pine nuts, those go in. If you like a little bit of heat, chili flakes, a little chili flake in there, that's nice. Shallot, finely diced shallot for a little bit of crunch. Also a different type of heat, right? Let's see, what else do we have here? Salt, of course. And freshly ground black pepper. And a little bit of acid, you definitely need some acid. So do you remember that lemon that I zested at the beginning to coat the chicken? Right, so this is the lemon. You can use one of those fancy squeeze things, but that gives me one more thing to wash, so. This is my fancy squeeze thing. It's called my hand. And my hand can easily catch the lemon seeds as well. So you're using everything, the juice and the zest of one whole lemon. And last but not least, a little bit of extra virgin olive oil. And that goes and pulls the whole thing together. There we are. Simple, fast, delicious. Give it a stir and just in time to check up on that chicken. <laughs> Look at that. 
That looks pretty good, right? Delicious, delicious. So we have this beautiful char on the chicken breast. It's not overcooked. It's juicy on the inside. Why? Because we pounded it to an even thickness so it cooks evenly. That takes all the guesswork out of it. Now, I'm talking because I like to talk, but I'm talking also because you want it to rest for just a few seconds, say maybe a minute. And the reason for that is because if you pull anything right off the grill or right out of a really high temperature oven, like Royal, what's gonna happen is all the juices are still just pressing against each other inside the protein, which is the cell structure. And if I just took this and cut it right now, all the juice would go all over your cutting board and not all over your tongue and in the salad. Mm, that's about five minutes. Let's go ahead and slice into this beauty. Oh, stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Stop it. So juicy. Look at that. Succulent. Delicious. A lot of flavor. Really quick. We have this delicious salad. Just slide it right on top. You know what? I'm kind of hungry today, so let's go for the whole chicken breast. Boom. Right over top. That. That, that makes me like chicken breast. It's really delicious, very fast. Over the quinoa salad, which itself is fast. Under the broiler, which itself is fast. I'm gonna grab the end piece, because usually the end piece is the drier part. Not so, I say. Moist, delicious, herbaceous, lemony. You'll wanna keep this one in your back pocket. It is delicious, fast, and furious, and it'll make you fall in love with chicken breast all over again.